Basically, this is how I do things when I approach your life. Which one do you need? Because we are three in one. I never change. My name is Jesus. And I got to the point, let's go with, all hail King Jesus, okay. <clears throat> As King, I'll explain it like this. A lot of times I'll make these videos and then um, it's kind of like how I was with the multitudes. I could feel doubt, unbelief, lack of faith, boredom, and it took away from the spirit flowing around the people and explaining everything that they needed to hear. So it kind of wasn't my favorite thing. So I'd go way too far until those multitudes went away. And then I'd be like, ah, oh, perfect. I would seriously just ask people, could you please unsubscribe in the middle of the video? Because I could feel them. And I've been really taking the approach of, okay, <clears throat> Building a, a perfect life now, now that I'm picking my life back up, after I laid it down and made all these videos for everyone, especially my wife, there for her. How I'm gonna do things differently and working on my tone, I've been doing that every single day because things had affected me way differently depending on who was around me and where it was. So let's do something that makes everybody more comfortable, right? Okay. Rather than me just say, this is what it is, believe it or not, this is what it is. Take me as I am, this is what it is. <clears throat> I'll be more inviting. I promised I was going to be gracious and I got confirmation I could do that in the scriptures. So in the name of Jesus, I bind the Antichrist. I bind any spirit that is leading anyone to destruction. I bind any familiar spirits, any lying spirits, specifically anything of Satan. In the name of Jesus, amen. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> I learned how to do that when I was like nine. How lonely sits the city that was full of people. How like a widow is she, who was great among the nations. The princess among the Protestants has become a slave. She weeps bitterly in the night. Her tears are on her cheeks among all. Okay. Her friends have dealt treacherously with her. They have become her enemies. Judah has gone into captivity under affliction and hard servitude. She dwells among the nations. She finds no rest. Not all of the scripture is all encouraging and um, many parts of the scripture you might be led to are confirmation and warnings. So the way church is supposed to operate is the spirit is supposed to be able to say whatever the spirit wants to say, because that's what people need to hear. Okay. So I'm going to pause. <clears throat> I'm um, adding things to my kingdom and my own life. Right. So I'm rewarding myself <laughs> sometimes. And I don't, I'm not laughing while everybody else is. I'm working on your issues and your problems. 
but I still have to have time for me, my wife, my family. So earlier this week, I got uh, a reward. I got to spend time with my wife. That's been like the reward of the last uh, six months for me. It took me six months to spend two days with my wife. And it was so totally worth it. So I'll be, that's how I'm gonna be rewarding myself and then building our life here. But I also have to learn how to keep people out of our stuff too. So I'm being very delicate right now. And you know it's the truth. Sometimes harsh is truth. So I'm being soft right now. Many will say, well, we're just, we, we weren't sure, Lord. We've been deceived. And I got told this by this person. And it just, it's taken a lot for me to regain trust and try again. And I, just, I know. You pray, get your confirmation. God's not going to let you be deceived. If you're praying to Jesus, nothing can stop what Jesus is doing, all right? So beloveds, if you are going to doubt me because my eyes are not physically burning out of my face, then I'm just gonna be a painting that stands there like this. <clears throat> And my eyes have been really, really <laughs> burning sometimes. I, I have fulfilled scripture to a point of, I can tell you stories. But it wasn't because I was trying to. It was because it was something I was led into that resulted in it a lot of times. So many will ask me, why didn't you bind Satan? And Satan's been under my feet. Everything right now is under my feet. You feel very powerless right now. I'm helping you with this. Many have been coming to the conclusion that they are actually that powerless. So I'm going to explain what the church can't because the church doesn't know. I can soften and harden people's hearts. I don't harden their hearts. I remove the Holy Spirit. If I give them the Holy Spirit, that softens their heart but I will not keep someone captive. They have to make the choice. And <clears throat> there are things that you can do that will really, really offend me and cause me to either take action or do nothing for you. If it approaches or breaks one of the Ten Commandments, that is one of them. You needed to hear that. That will prevent a lot of pain, suffering, and disappointment throughout your entire existence if you learn that one thing. So marriage is something that I took and take very, very seriously. And a lot of people, <clears throat> it was like it was their toy rather than something they were using and appreciating. So if, a lot of times people would ask me, well, how's your day going, Lord? And I'm, well, right now I'm struggling to get the basic things that you guys take for granted. But other than that, <clears throat> but in that struggle, 
it made me very mentally um, adept and agile. You're welcome. So <clears throat> let me pray some more. Because one thing I've been trying to stress to the church is you need to take ministry more seriously. You are a representative of God. And I would say to the people that are aspiring and they're on fire and trying to start their own ministries, don't, unless you're led to. It can really um, be quite a journey if you're trying to do everything in your own strength and you'll give up. And you will have... Uh, one thing the church doesn't teach you, if you jump and I didn't tell you to jump a lot of times, I won't catch you till like the very end. You will go in your own strength. They will teach you not to do that. And many had the misconception that they're leading me. So there's all kinds of things that we're unraveling here. Philips. So I take it very seriously. I don't say a word unless it's from the Holy Spirit. I don't make a video unless I'm led to. So I took a nap because my day started out and it sucked. I got provided for, but that's not a blessing to me. I was, I am grateful and it was confirmation because I was placed in that position. <clears throat> Uh, moments like that, they just strengthen your faith that you are that loved. And right now, I'm talking to my wife, but in very short, direct statements, as opposed to our usual, where I'd be talking to her all day and making her laugh. So I'm waiting for, I can do that again. So <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that again. All right, all right. Fine, I already did it. I did it a while ago. I bind Satan in the name of Jesus. There you go. In Jesus' name, amen. Everybody happy now? Good, good. In the light of the king's face is light, and his favor is like a cloud of the latter rain. How much better to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding is to be chosen rather than silver. The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He who keeps his way preserves his soul. Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before fall. Better to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. He who heeds the word wisely will find good, and whoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he. The wise in heart will be called prudent, and sweetness of the lips increases learning. Understanding is a wellspring of life to him. Understanding is a wellspring of life to him who has it, but the correction of fools is folly. The heart of the wise teaches his mouth and adds learning to his lips. So me and my wife went to this place called the Wellsprings, and I binded 
to a tree. <clears throat> and saved major cities across the earth. Just one of the things I've done. And we were in a tent, because my wife is hardcore like that. And I opened up the scripture and it said, the Messiah will be wise and prosper. And I always viewed it as there is nothing more prosperous than a beautiful, godly wife. And that is what I prayed for. And I was um, reminded this morning when I got into the first situation, I had no peace with it at all. The Holy Spirit kept me moving forward, but it is not something I wanted to do. And it taught me what I needed to know in order to relate and warn and be the example in that situation of what not to do. But I was following the Holy Spirit. So don't put God into a category of this is exactly what I'm going to do. Many do not know me as much as they think they do. And it comes down to, do you know me? All right, I'm gonna pause. <clears throat> you guys are funny. What you bind in heaven will be bound on earth, right? Isn't that my own words? Okay, we're good? Yes, you can subscribe. Scribe, subscribe. That is cool. Beware the scribes. <laughs> well, a little leaven and all that. So let, let me help you guys out of your situations. Well, I was checking out... Um, <clears throat> one of my prophets and making sure that prophet was taken care of and the scripture that was posted above that was uh, in Genesis God says but my spirit will not dwell with man forever then you read in well, and I'll be with you always. So yes, I do do new things, but they're not new to me. This was always my plan. And the simple truth is Adam never told Eve he was God. So then how can I confirm in scripture from, from the Holy Spirit, me, that you are birthed from when you receive the gift of eternal life that I love someone. When I have found that if you give such a selfless love, it can make someone feel uneasy because they know you're selfless. So for a very, very, very long time, I've been trying to show display and leave this person without a doubt. When I was in that situation living with someone, <clears throat> that person became increasingly angry with me and one time said, 
You have a word for everyone. You minister to everyone except me. Now my wife will tell you, she lived with me and was praying, please just tell him not to minister to me today. Just give me. The love I have for my wife is so pure and to me, that feeling where you just know coupled with God's will, the understanding of the truth that she was given to me by God, and the infatuation tied in with the feeling of uh, what people call in love, and on top of that, a uh, sense of Life is so much better with her. Love isn't the word, but <clears throat> there's agape love. Like I, I told her that I was taking it to a whole nother level called burrito love. The burrito love. Where she's just wrapped up in nothing but love, but not to the extent where she doesn't get to be herself. So it's been um, <laughs> real for her. Now the Lord had said to Ahijah, here is the wife of Jeroboam coming to ask you something about her son, for he is sick. Thus and thus you shall say to her, for it will be when she comes in that she will pretend to be another woman. And so it was when Ahijah heard the sound of her footsteps as she came through the door, he said, come in wife of Jeroboam. Why do you pretend to be another person? Now, a lot of things I read is confirmation to me that this already happened and that's not what I'm doing, but it's like, remember you did that and that's what the Spirit's telling me. And then the Spirit says, read this. So I read what the Holy Spirit tells me to. It's that real when you're, but it's always God's will for your benefit, for your good, and from my heart, my love. So my wife being as selfless as she is, told me once, maybe another woman will make you happy. No.
And then when I was trying to get her up here, <clears throat> she took it upon herself to take the Esther approach and helped out somebody who at that time had not been taken. So it pretty much been like that movie, One Night with the King, which I highly recommend. So God with us means three in one, the triune God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is one. Otherwise, it would have been God with you. Let us make man in our image, both male and female, so they can come together and be one flesh. So then you'd ask me, well, how old are you? And you say, why would I ask you that? Exactly. Well, how do you get to know somebody? When you meet someone in the street, sometimes you sit down and you talk and you ask how old they are, right? That's the same thing. 6,042, give or take. <laughs> how old is she? 5,025. Well, what were you doing? Creating everything around you? Remember, Adam went to sleep. A lot of people ask me questions, and I sit there and I pause because I have to have a split second to answer with a frame of reference you're familiar with that you can say, okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you get this look on your face like, I don't know if that's true. And I'm like, well, you don't know everything. And I don't and cannot lie. So I wanted to be a regular Joe. That's what you guys call it, right? Marry my wife, do everything fair. And we'd both be under the authority of the Holy Spirit. I felt that was the best way to do things. And the fatherless need a father. I'm that understanding and thorough. We all need a father. I never had one. So I know how it feels. And I have this entire plan, an amazing life plan for my wife that I wasn't going to let her miss out on. Just like I have one for you. <clears throat> the scripture talks about my goodness. I wanted to display it for a very, very long time. So how old were you then? Uh, 2042. Then 4,000. And 68. <laughs> In human terms that you can understand, which is why there shouldn't be math. <clears throat> but numbers are important, beloved. The prince shall then be in their midst. When they go in, he shall go in. And when they go out, he shall go out. So I was the prince. 
the great Prince Michael. And Jesus. And I did all the hard work. All of the hard work. To lay down what you see today. So. The. Um teachings that I'm hearing in the church are a bit remedial to me because it's my church. And it, it never made sense to me. Why do you call yourself a follower of Jesus? And for a long time, I was very disappointed. And also, it was taken from me. So I have not been too uh, enthusiastic about it. For a very very long time now I have a different breed of worshipers in spirit and in truth with a genuine relationship with me now I have my prophets that are not confined to a building the um, internet which I am not too thrilled with as far as what its uses have become but the expansive reach it has provided So God's dreams for you are beyond your comprehension of what you're seeing right now. <clears throat> My wife has never experienced real love or been in love, as they say. So she's terrified of what happens if she loses it. And she won't. So for those feeling powerless, remember I'm still on the throne. You have visual evidence now. And my words. And my voice does not change. One voice. All hail King Jesus. Right? I love you guys. And especially love you, babe. <laughs>